Have you seen Mike Boyd's video where he used 3000 Rubik's Cubes to assemble a giant picture of a Terminator? Here's a quick recap. He took that iconic Terminator image, uploaded it to best site ever mosaic website, my brainchild, and a few clicks later, he got a PDF with all the cube patterns and layout instructions. Mike then took a whole bunch of solved Rubik's Cubes and started twisting each one like a mad scientist to get the pattern just right. It took him 22 hours of manual cube twisting to complete the entire thing. And despite I've been speed cubing for over a decade and knocked out a ton of cube mosaics, it probably would have taken me the same amount of time to create what he did until today. Because today, the best site ever mosaic tool is going to the next level. And with this awesome new tweak, I can now assemble any mosaic roughly 5 to 10 times faster than anyone in the world. And you know what? After watching this video, you will gain the same speed advantage too. So let's get started. Usually, when you're crafting a mosaic, you start by uploading a pic and getting a PDF that shows a pattern for each cube. You then look at each pattern individually and twist the cube to match. Next, you pop it into the spot in the frame, rinse and repeat. Now, let's be real, this is a marathon of a task. The new approach that you're about to discover is a total game changer. Here's a twist. Instead of looking at the 9 square picture of each cube and trying to work it out, you just now rock out an optimal algorithm that flips the cube from the solved state into the target state. This should take around 2 seconds per cube, as the algorithms are not just move optimal, but speed optimal. And the best part? While you turn each cube, you don't even have to look at it. Just keep your eye on the alk while your hands are doing the magic, and then slide the cube next to his body in the frame while you move your eyes down to the next line. At this point, you might be thinking, hold up, this is cool and all, but it only works if my cubes are already playing nice and solved. If I'm stuck resetting my cube after every single mosaic, then I'm actually spending more time than I'm saving. But hold up, I know it sounds almost too good to be true, but this groundbreaking feature from best site ever hands you not just one, but two PDF files. One for transforming a bunch of salt cubes into a mosaic, and another for returning them into their salt state. So once your masterpiece is complete and you've captured all the photos and videos your heart desires, it will only take extra 2 seconds per cube to reset everything and get ready for your next artwork. And I'm gonna teach you exactly how to get these files and algorithms, but first let's back the theory with some real-world tests to ensure that these aren't just empty promises. To do this, I've crafted a special picture with gradient background. These types of pictures, when converted to pixel art use dithering, are notoriously time-consuming to solve. Take a look, unlike portrait pictures with lots of semi-color areas, this bad boy doesn't have a single cube solved. Each one is like, nah, I need a bit more work, so let's generate the alts, gather a bunch of cubes and see how quickly I can now put this together. After placing the 300 Rubik's cubes in a huge pile, which to be honest was already quite time-consuming, I opened the algorithms on my laptop and started the timer. Okay, so it took me a lot more than I had expected, which is 28 minutes. It's still a lot less than like three hours, which it would take me without the aux. First impressions. Um, one thing that could be improved is that when you complete doing the algorithms, uh, holding white top, green front, green. So instead of the pattern appearing on the top face so that you have to do sort of X prime and then insert the cube, the pattern instead has to appear on the front face. So this is what I will change. So this is how the recovery would go. I have my first cube. In this algorithm, I have to execute on the first cube, which is like that, to make it solved again. All right, so recovering took just one second less with three cubes being scrambled. I really felt that it was super time consuming to, after solving each cube, turn my head to the pile, place the solved cube in specified pile position, and then grabbing the next cube, focus on the scrambles or the solution algorithms in that case, and then continue with the next cube. If I could just find a way to, after solving each cube, to just, you know, throw it away and without taking my eyes off the algorithms to continue with the next cube, it will be probably like 30% faster, that's what I can feel. After a bit of software tinkering and lubricating all 300 cubes for smoother turning, it was time for the second test. 
For this, I chose a more standard picture. As you can see, it has many more single colored areas. And yep, this is Pavel Durov, my neighbor from the skyscraper jungle of Dubai. All right, let's get this party started. So it took me just under 18 minutes this time and well, at the beginning I was able to maintain the eye contact with algorithms and put the cube with my right hand on top, although in the beginning it was that top, and take my, with my left hand, take the cube from, from this pile. It was pretty difficult to do the same thing at the end because I had to put the cubes so high and take the cubes from the pile so low. But of course it was a lot easier when I had the piles like like that, or you just have to take the row of cubes and like flip them all together, not even flipping them individually, but like flip the entire row. But yeah, not only the mosaic was easier than the first one, I also used a better technique, trying to maintain the eye contact, so I'm not really sure if I can go a lot faster than 18 minutes. But hey, there is still one unanswered poodle. With this nifty new approach, how quickly would it take to assemble the Terminator mosaic showing at the start of the video? Well, if we do the math, it turns out that it would have taken Mike just a bit over three and a half hours to complete the entire thing instead of 22 hours. Mike, buddy, if you're out there watching, my bad. I really should have hit this upgrade button earlier. This tool is free and open source, just like all the cool stuff I make for you guys. So give it a try at bestsetever.ru slash mosaic. Simply click on this little button right there. And once your miniature is downloaded, just drag and drop it and hit start. It will cook up something awesome like this. Then hit Ctrl P to print it out or save it as a PDF and bam! Welcome to the lake of the world's fastest mosaic builders. If you are curious about how it works or if you want me to review some of my other tools, then please let me know in the comments and I will make a follow-up video. Alright, catch you in the next one. Alright, I just found out that some cubes are not oriented correctly, which is strange because I allocated all of the cubes white top green front. So what's wrong with these cubes? <laughs> 